Hey guys, Gib Brock here. Today we're going to be doing something slightly different. I know most of the ship reviews in this series are on warships because everyone likes warships. Big boom boom, go bang bang. But uh, today we're going to actually be looking at uh, a non-warship, though the ship has seen plenty of combat. If you've watched some of the Outlands episodes, uh, you probably already recognize this ship. This is the Ox Resolution made by Upgrade on the workshop. All that link, all that stuff down in the description below. We'll keep this video short. You've mostly already seen it in the series and the intro gives a pretty good deal or understanding of how she's laid out, but we'll give it a quick look on her default configuration. And uh, yeah. This is why you're not supposed to do stuff on a server. I guess on that note, uh, suddenly Sword of Dawn gives you a rough idea of the scaling. Uh, even though she's at a different altitude. Yeah, so a fairly big freighter, as you'd expect. When you uh, watch this in the episode, you you've probably saw it with a bunch of cargo. That was the cargo for what eventually, if you didn't pick up on that, would be the, uh, the armament for Project Leviathan, which ended up being that uh, mobilized offensive capable fob that the CDF used. The layout, as you'd imagine, fairly straightforward, huge cargo carrier where you can potentially dock fighters or put cargo as needed. If you go to the rear of the ship, just a quick access way to the uh, reactor room, fairly simple stuff, right? This is an incredibly utilitarian vessel, right? Easy access to the, to the reactors. On the inside, there are containers, right? But they are up armored that kind of look like this, and it allows for docking. So, sweet effect, and you can kind of see them as you look, go along here. Regular personnel are obviously not meant to go back here. This is more, we can kind of give it a little dabble onto the access way. In the episode itself, we actually uh, use this to sneak our way onto the vessel, right? You can kind of get into the underhang, underhangings of the ship, right? You can kind of see the exposed machinery. Right, because once again, this is not a warship. All that stuff is exposed. Over here, you have basically a large airlock of sorts. You can kind of look inside from both sides, and uh, you can kind of cycle the, you know, the main hangar from a secondary small hangar. And this is also where the air vents are. Right, because opening those doors over there will actually flood the ship. Speaking of flooding the ship, all the airlocks are open. Up here you have basic crew accommodations, right? Nothing amazing. All right, once again, this is a utilitarian, uh, utilitarian cargo ship, right? You're, you're not, this isn't a space liner, nor is this a warship. Moving up here, you have some basic uh, areas for the crew to eat, relax, the sorts. And then you can move towards the rear of the ship. We have the Outlands Beacon, which is a mod we specifically use to just have ultra durable beacons. Thus, uh, the ship is always detectable. And then we have an upper way over here where personnel could go and kind of direct where the cargo is being moved, make sure you don't crash into anything, break anything, the, the usual. It's also just a really cool spot in terms of PVP access where someone on the catwalk up ahead can really control this large open area down below. And we actually saw that in multiple uh, usages of this vessel, right? Because in the series, if you haven't seen this, uh, this vessel ended up being a kind of ground PVP level, if we want to use that word, um, for our multi-faction you know, event going on. And then finally, real quick, we can head over down here, and that gets us to the bridge. The bridge is off to the side, has a very low uh, view area but once again you know I've, I've said this repeatedly it's a freighter right we're going through space most of the communications the, the directions the visibility all that's handled by sensors and flying along in a predetermined path right like modern uh, cargo ships really if you've ever seen one of those those have zero visibility and that is about that most of the ships space is dedicated to carrying cargoes and her specific cargo containers in the back but that was a short one just a cool little video 
Uh, I wanted to illustrate this vessel because it's actually a very neat vessel. And I uh, wanted to give my boy Upgrade a little shout out uh, for making this vessel. Anyways, that's just a quick little video. We'll see you guys around.